Jessica, explain what happened over the last five minutes of that third quarter. You guys had looked pretty tired up to that point, and suddenly there was energy. Yeah, I mean, I think that we knew that we needed to come out and play connected, and, um, you know, coach called that timeout, and then we came out of it just kind of, you know, we needed to get defensive stops so that we could go on runs. Um, and I think we did a great job pushing in transition, but, you know, what led to that was our defense. Mike, go ahead. Just uh, that third quarter, how nice was it to be able to do it without Sil being on the floor? Because we know a lot of this offense runs through Sil. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, anytime we can give Sil a, a rest and come out and play um, well, it helps It helps our team because, you know, when Sil's fresh, you can't stop her. So I think, you know, we just came in and, you know, we kind of had an edge to us and just made sure that we were locking in on what the coaches were asking us to do and getting stops and uh, executing on offense. Uh, go ahead, Jack. Jess, Kayla was just in here saying that you've grown a ton in ways that maybe we can't see from what's going on in practice, things like that, learning from DD and, and Natalie and Syl. Just what do you think you've learned the most from them so far this season? Uh, I think you, you learn something new every day from Syl. She's one of the best uh, to ever play the game. And, you know, obviously she's had a great level of success. So, um, you know, you learn a multitude of things. I think, you know, part of it is just how she carries herself on the court and how she's a leader, um, you know, constantly, you know, giving her all. Sills out here every game and, you know, she's playing 30 minutes and, you know, she's doing great things. So I think just watching that, you know, just kind of inspires you to go out there and you want to give her everything that you have. Thank you. Go ahead, Lucas. Yes. Uh, so you and, you know, many of your teammates, including Kayla, um, play basketball almost year round um and I think it's easy for one thing to say like hey that's tough but like how tough is it to actually play basketball year round with without a, a whole lot of rest in between seasons year after year uh, well obviously this was my first year playing year round but uh to me it's just a blessing I mean you know you get to do something that you love for a living so yeah you could look at you know we had to wake up at 4 30 this morning um, but at the same time, you're doing something that you love. So, you know, I think, you know, it's obviously hard and you got to take care of yourself, but at the same time, um, just to be able to do what you love every day is um, special and something that doesn't last forever. So just take advantage of it. Any more questions? Uh, just one. I mean, you, you referred to the early wake up call today. I mean, it was a long day for you guys. You lost an hour coming, coming East. Is there a kind of a sense, is there any kind of sense of just pride at how this team kind of, rallied from what happened last night under difficult circumstances? I mean, yeah, yeah. we knew that we had to come into this game and win. Um, so I think just to be able to come out here, regardless of the circumstances, you know, we didn't focus on that. We didn't even talk about it. Just come out here and um, play hard. This is our job. So I think, you know, we just did a great job in the second half of bringing energy and uh, doing whatever it took to win the game.